In the accompanying diagram of right triangle ABC, altitude BD is drawn to hypotenuse AC. Which statement must always be true? So this is another geometric, classic geometric mean question from the New York State Regents. And um, anytime that you have a right triangle uh, where you draw the altitude from the right angle to the hypotenuse, partitioning the hypotenuse into two segments. The relationship between the two partitions there and the length of the altitude will, can be expressed in this manner. The product of the partitions will equal to the altitude squared. And alternatively, you can also write this kind of relationship a little differently. Uh, instead of as a product, you can also write this as a proportion. I recognize that A times B is equal to C times C. And this, rewritten as a proportion, looks like A over C is equal to C over B. As it turns out, if we break up the right triangle into three similar right triangles, we're going to get a very similar proportion out of all three right triangles. Let me demonstrate here. So if I take this, okay, uh, set up right now, I'm going to label these with the various angle markings there because I recognize that angle B there uh, is a right angle. Angle D there is also a right angle. Angle A does not necessarily have to be congruent to angle C, but I am aware that angle A and angle C are supposed to be complementary. And if that's the case, then that means angle DBC here must also be complementary to angle C. Similarly, angle DBA must be complementary to angle A there in that smaller triangle. So here what I have is three small right triangles, which I am going to uh, label with these angle markings. And I encourage you to do the same, to pause the video and to... Uh, construct these three similar right triangles and label them accordingly with the correct ver um, with the correct angle markings here. Um, so the smallest triangle here uh, is A, D, B, and then the second, the middle triangle, the second largest triangle, uh, it will be. Uh, B, C, D, and then the largest triangle is A, B, C. So what I can do is I can compare the legs to the hypotenuse. I can say A, D, so I can compare the shorter leg, right? A, D to the hypotenuse, A, B. it will be equal to the shorter leg of the hypotenuse, a uh, shorter leg of the middle triangle to the hypotenuse. It'll be BD over BC. I can also do the same thing with the, um, uh, with the larger triangle. I can also say AD over AB, right? So again, AD over AB, which is the smaller triangle here, it will be proportional to AB over AC. I can set up these proportions, and I can do the same thing with the, um, with the longer leg to the hypotenuse. I can say uh, BD over AB is equal to... Uh, CD over BC, and similarly I can say BD over AB is equal to AB over DC, right? So I don't know if you can uh, see this or recognize this to be the case. Notice here, uh, which I'm going to highlight, in blue, 
I have A over C is equal to C over V, which is the geometric mean, that proportion that I had started the video off by describing. Can you see that we have a similar kind of setup where you have um, in one fraction, the denominator is, a, is equivalent to the numerator of the second fraction, right? So you have similar setup happening over here, right? Same thing with this guy. So you can certainly list out the various different types of uh, proportions, but what you want to do is you want to look for, uh, in the answer key there, do you have something similar where you have the, um, in the denominator of, the, of, the, of one fraction, having the same value as the numerator of the second fraction, or you know the same in reverse. And if you look at the answer choices here, the only one that fits the bill is option two. Right, so AD over AB is equal to AB over AC, which is exactly what we have written uh, in the beginning anyway, okay? But the point is, you know, we, we could have actually looked at the answer choices without having to go through everything that I just drew over here and just recognizing this relationship and we can just sort of fish out, oh, it's the, um, the denominator and numerator, the denominator of one fraction having equivalent values as the, uh, the numerator or any other, right? We can sort of just fish that out. 